Marie. Well, family, friends, and the community will be coming together today to remember longtime Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Well, visitation will be held before his funeral this afternoon. And 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live. He is at Woodside Bible Church in Troy, where it's going to be today. What can we expect, Matthew? Well, certainly big crowds. We saw them last week with visitation at the county building. We saw them yesterday when we uh, saw the doors open here in Troy. This is going to be a shorter window, but obviously the big crowds come with decades of service. Seven terms as county executives. This will be just a small window of opportunity when it comes to the visitation today because we had one yesterday, so it's only one and a half hours or so that you'll be able to do that. The public welcomed in at 11 o'clock. The funeral will take place a short time later at the same location at 1.30. That too will be open to the public. However, a burial following this, though that will be a private event just for close friends and family with full military honors for Al Brooks Patterson. Now, over the past few days, we've been catching up with the county executives, friends and family, all bracing for the end, but nonetheless hurting in the end. I don't have a memory without him. You know, my mom always said he was so, gone so much when you were little, but I had the best childhood because of him. It's a very painful experience. And Brooks was our friend and he was a father and a grandfather. And um, I think today's focus for most of us who were close to him, that's really the focus. Again, that visitation happening from 11 to 1. You can see the cross lit up at the top of the church. They are ready for people to roll in here beginning at 11. I saw they actually have already kind of set up the parking lot to kind of try to avoid a big traffic mess out here. Again, they do expect big crowds. The funeral open to the public at 1.30. If you want more details, you can always check them out at WXYZ.com. For now, we are live in Troy. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.